thank you for being a part of this special community, as we all learn to bring more compassion and peace for ourselves and to the world. Our hope is that you will find great value in the material that we've put together for you. Think about something you've always wanted to do but never felt was within your capability. What kind of life do you most wish that you could lead? How would you feel in that ideal life? What would you look like and what would you do? Are you a successful career person? Are you traveling the world and grasping your destiny one location at a time? Have you finally lost the extra weight you have been feeling bad about and living a healthier lifestyle? Any of these goals are within your grasp, and there is very little that we can achieve if we simply begin to harness the untapped potential within our own minds. Our brains are supercomputers that are specially designed to help us to accomplish our goals and to survive in the world. It is constantly processing the information surrounding us and the things and people that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. By harnessing the power of our minds and learning how to tap into it so that we can start controlling the results, we take ourselves that much closer to living the life we want most to live before it is too late. If you are new to visualization, don't worry. Everybody starts somewhere. And in this beginner's training, we will show you the ropes and give you a good clue as to how and why visualization can turn our goals into our realities. Our subconscious mind is a powerful place. And when it is working in our favor rather than against us, the potential for us to achieve is unlimited. But don't take our word for it. Instead, see for yourself just how powerful it can be to unlock your subconscious mind and tap into your own powers through visualization today. What is visualization and how can it benefit our lives? Over the years, many people have worked to figure out exactly how the human body works and how we can most efficiently use the tools at our disposal. We have the opposable thumbs. We have the memory power. And we have the ability to craft and create. But sometimes it seems that humans simply lack one crucial element to success. Self-discipline. In fact, the longer we go through life, the more baggage we seem to pick up. We learn from experiences that often teach us to believe that we lack power in our own lives and that the efforts that we put into our goals will not be worth the reward. Maybe we begin to talk ourselves out of believing that we are capable of achieving the goals that we want to set for ourselves. Maybe when we are young. We have people who tell us that we have our heads in the clouds and that doing the things we love simply isn't an option. These kinds of situations can often leave us feeling discouraged and withdrawn. We may even begin to feel silly for wanting to shoot for the stars or for believing that we may have any power over our own destinies. Maybe we want to think that we can accomplish something and then someone else makes fun of us or questions why we care about the things we care about. Over time, without the proper support and without successes in your corner to keep your confidence boosted, it can become very difficult to keep our eyes on our true desires and instead force ourselves to stay complacent with the lots that we have drawn. But we don't have to stay stuck with the short end of the stick. In fact, nature has provided us with all the tools we could ever ask for when it comes to achieving our most important goals. Our brains are powerful computers that can help us to thrive. However, if they are used the wrong way, they can also be our greatest obstacles. If over time you have been weighed down by baggage like in the previous examples, you may find that it is incredibly difficult for you to actually make progress toward your goals. You may not even think that you are worthy of success. Some people even question whether they are worthy of being loved at all, which is just silly. Everyone is worthy of living their version of their best life. And our brains, if they aren't subconsciously holding us back from making the moves that we need to make to improve our lives, can actually help us to attract exactly the right opportunities to help us to thrive. Back in the 1970s, athletes in the Soviet Union began to practice a technique that soon caught on across the world. These athletes would purposely think about detailed performances on the field. They would let the images play in their minds and practice mentally in their downtime while their bodies were resting. The art of visualization actually helped these athletes to hone their reflexes and perform better on the field. And ever since then, it has become a popular technique for many athletes across many varieties of sports. Why? Because it works. Our brains are the stewards of our bodies. They help to direct us in the directions that we have to go, and they give us the power to make lasting changes in our lives. To some extent, they control our reflexes, they control our movement and speech, and our reaction time. Depending on other bodily factors, by training our brains with visualization exercises, our daily performance in certain areas can reach new heights. And ever since that became apparent in sports practices, people have been looking into other ways that this reality can apply in a way that can change our lives. You don't have to have a good imagination for visualization to work, although it may help. 
But what you do need to do is to be able to picture a scenario in your mind's eye and see that scenario going as well as it ever possibly could. In doing so, you are preparing your mind for events that are to come. And because it has run through this event already and seen how it should best be performed, it has already become primed to respond to the future events in a productive and helpful way. Visualization relies on the concept of the law of attraction. The law of attraction states that whatever our mind is focusing on is what we are most likely to attract into our own lives. For example, if you keep replaying negative situations in your mind and seeing ways that you have been led down by others rather than focusing on positive things, then you are more likely than not going to attract more of the same negative energy into your life. Negativity can easily cause us to spiral downward and get stuck in a rut. And that rut can easily lead us to feel discouraged and unworthy of positive changes in our lives. However, if we are focusing on the positive and valuing it and focusing our energy into attracting more of the same positive energy so that we can thrive, then we are going to be able to experience more positive things than negative. And because our minds are focused on a specific goal, our minds will be constantly working on ways that we can achieve that goal and reach our desired income. A popular notion for those who are learning visualization techniques is that it is important to train our brains to live as if we are already accomplished in the areas that we want to be accomplished. This will help us to have more confidence and to recognize the steps we can take and the opportunities we are presented with to help us to move forward in our lives and to create the ideal situations for us. The basic principle is that the things we think will eventually begin to shape our reality. So if we are fixated on the negative, we will attract more negative. But if we focus on the life that we most want to live, then that is what we will attract to ourselves. And that is always the most productive thing we can do. How does visualization work? Have you ever had a dream that felt like it was really happening? When you woke up, your body might still have been responding to the events in the dream. You might have a real emotional reaction to the situation that you found yourself in during the dream. This is just one example of how the brain can control our bodies and lives in ways beyond our comprehension or control. Memories can act in a similar way. When we look back on things we experienced in our past, it can cause us to have physical and emotional reactions. In fact, sometimes our memories can be rewritten in ways that allow us to experience something that didn't really happen. But if we are convinced one way or another that the memory is real, we will go through life believing that the things you felt and experienced truly happened. Creativity and imagination can often be confused as actual events in the mind's eye and create certain responses in an individual. Now, imagine yourself taking control of the emotions and the events that the brain is processing. Imagine yourself coming up with the reality that your mind believes and the perspective that it works from. Think about how much more productive you would be and how much more you would accomplish if the brain were on your side instead of against you. By deciding the things that we tell our brains to focus on, we essentially empower ourselves at our deepest level to help us to enhance our moods and find confidence in our actions and goals. As a popular saying goes, seeing is believing. If our brains see something, they will ultimately not be able to tell the difference between the truth and reality. Have you ever been afraid of a horror movie even though you know that it isn't real? It's the same kind of concept. Visualization can help in so many ways. It has even been used to help stroke victims to prevent the atrophy of their muscles. Simply visualizing the movement of their bodies is enough to trigger our brain to direct the blood flow to the places it should be. It can even prevent the brain from being negatively impacted by blood clots and reoxygenate areas that would otherwise be in danger from the impact of the stroke. Visualization works in a way that repetitive words and lists and plans don't. If the brain can see your plan, then it can make the necessary allowances to help us achieve our goals. We can go blue in the face telling ourselves what to think, but at the end of the day, it can be one of the most difficult ways to enact change in our lives. Sometimes people aren't positively impacted by this strategy at all, and instead find themselves feeling defeated and discouraged and increasing the stress in their lives because of how badly they want to make positive changes, but they don't seem to be coming along in the way they need to see progress. Our brains can easily tune out an overload of information that doesn't seem relevant to any specific circumstances. However, if it is stimulated visually, then it makes that much more difference. We are visual creatures and often learn through action and observation. We have been biologically designed in a way that ensures that visualization is a technique that will help us to prepare for our lives and help us to survive. Every single one of us is capable of taking our performances to a new level, and the technique of visualization can only serve to help us do so in an easier way. Processing images and implementing them to our daily lives is a great way to help us prepare for the future. Imagining a situation or a conversation going well can help us to feel the confidence that we need to ensure that these situations or conversations actually do go well. 
Consider it practice for your brain in events that matter the most. This is how athletes benefit so much from visualization. When they aren't even physically practicing out on the field, they can visualize themselves making the play they were meant to make and responding properly to issues they may be struggling with. It's an advantage that we allow ourselves so that our reflex time is getting more practice than simple physical repetition. We are preparing our brains to respond appropriately to a given situation and allowing ourselves the ability to do so. It not only helps us maintain the confidence that we need to keep a level head in situations that may otherwise feel overwhelming, but it allows us time to prepare a response that we can be proud of. Visualization is a powerful tool that can have a real and legitimate effect on the body. But as you may be able to imagine, this can also be problematic for us if we are stuck in negative thought cycles. If we are constantly worrying about bad things happening to us or around us, there may come a point where our brains manifest that negativity into depression or other difficulties and emotions. It may help you to sabotage yourself and create the negative situations that you are most afraid of. This is why it's always important to maintain a positive outlook on life, even when things are the most difficult they possibly could be. If we are fixated on the bad and imagining bad things happening that haven't yet, it will cause stress to the body that sometimes we can't even comprehend. These issues can manifest physically and mentally and impair us in our daily lives. Don't let this happen to you. Instead, harness the power of visualization to help you to become the person that you want to be. Imagine the absolute best case scenario for you and your life and lift that stress right off of your shoulders. It may seem strange to think about how much power our thoughts and mental images actually have, but at the end of the day, they can be incredibly beneficial or incredibly harmful. Only we can decide which it is how our lives will be affected. Try to make the right choice. Inserting yourself into pictures of the life you want. This technique can be kind of related back to the vision board technique. When we create images of the life that we want, it can be incredibly empowering. Our minds are able to harness the power to help us find resources and other support that can move us forward in our journey faster. It prevents us from feeling discouraged from doing the work it takes to accomplish our goals. It is a mindset change that can really make all the difference between doing something productively and wasting our time. Ultimately, the idea of including an image of yourself with pictures of the life you want works in many ways. Our minds recognize us, and although it may not recognize the situation you are in as a memory, it will help us to maintain the mindset and the energy that is needed for us to truly begin to believe that we are living the life we want already. Living with this mindset is a sure way to help us to benefit from the law of attraction. When we are focused on the life that we want and we are in the habit of believing that we are already in a position of abundance, then we will simply attract more abundance toward us. Consider how easy it is to find yourself in debt, with more debt seeming to effortlessly find its way to you. If you are already living in debt and focused on this debt, then it will easily attract more debt to you. But if you believe that you are already living abundantly and you have the resources that you need in order to achieve your goals and live the life that will most benefit you, then you will attract more resources and opportunities to yourself with little effort. That is the law of attraction. Ultimately, inserting yourself into pictures of the life that you want is a good tool. It helps the mind to think that we are already living in a place of abundance, and it will focus on generating more of that abundance. The energy that we put out into the universe will provide us with more opportunities to gain. Not only that, but there is science to say that when the mind is focused on a specific goal, it will go into a problem-solving mode that will make you aware consciously and unconsciously, of the steps that you need to take to attract the most opportunities for you to thrive. It doesn't just work on an unseen vibrational frequency. That sounds a little hokey, although it does seem to be legitimate regardless. It works on a simple, psychological level. When we are mulling over a problem or a puzzle, our minds are focused on helping us to figure it out. There are theories that this is why we dream. It is a chance for our brains to try and mull through our problems so that we can find solutions or find emotional or psychological closure in situations that are troubling us. The same can be said of the subconscious mind. We are constantly taking in information around us and our brain stores it all. Even if we aren't conscious of a possible solution to a problem we are having, when the mind is focused on that problem and detects that it needs to come up with a solution, it will be working on that solution even at times when we are unaware of it. This is why we get the occasional aha moment. It is our minds finally coming up with a great goal or a plan that will help us to bridge the gap between the situations we are in and our ideal outcomes. And so, when we are focused on the fact that we want to live this certain lifestyle, our brain will be working subconsciously for a way to help us to go in the direction of that lifestyle. 
it will be constantly trying to figure out how to bridge the gap between the people we are now and our current situations and the lifestyle that we desire for ourselves. And when it comes up with these solutions, it will let us know whether subconscious or conscious. It will lead us in directions we might never have gone before for reasons we might not fully understand until we finally see that we have aided ourselves in truly achieving the life that we want by following our intuition and letting our minds take the wheel for a while. A powerful way to encourage our brains to bridge the gaps is to show it images of us in the environment we want most to be in, whether that is a nice home or a great corner office. Superimposing a picture of yourself in that environment will help our brains get the memo that this is what our focus should be and give it the encouragement it needs to help us to consolidate our goals with our reality. You can do this any number of ways. If you have computer skills, you could use Photoshop to put a picture of yourself in your ideal environment. You could also just cut and paste and put a picture of yourself with a picture of the environment you want most to be surrounded with. However you choose to make use of this visualization technique, the mind will get the message. We have so many resources already at our disposal, but so many of them work below the surface and in mysterious ways that we might not fully understand. Science may be working on it, but the one thing it knows for sure is that the brain is a visual creature and it will help us to solve the problems that we are most focused on. So, work on believing that you are living the life you want and give your brain the clues that it needs to help us along the way. You will be so glad you did. Visualization is a technique that has existed in the world for centuries and centuries. It began with the cave paintings. It evolved our ability to communicate through spoken and written word. And it has been helping human beings to achieve their goals for more years than we will ever see in our lifetimes. It has been a powerful tool in aiding healing and improving physical performance. And it has served so many in their ability to perform mentally as well. Time and time again, it has proven to be a tried and true method of helping us to harness our own power and to live the life we want most. As with anything, there will be naysayers out there who don't believe it works. They will be convinced that their way is the only way and that nobody will ever be able to achieve things just by talking to themselves and looking at pictures. But if you look closely at these people, you're going to find they all have one thing in common. They are not happy with themselves in some way and they are probably used to being disappointed. You can handle these one of two ways. You can suggest that they give visualization a try for themselves and explain to them how the negativity bias works. You can let them know by focusing on their negative thoughts and defeat they are only attracting more of the same to themselves. You can tell them about the power of the subconscious brain and ways that they can begin to harness the power for themselves rather than trying to rain on your parade. You can show them the pathway to success and let them try it out for themselves. Or you can ignore them. You can determine that their energy is too negative for you to be around and you can do everything in your power to only surround yourself with positive and successful people who will encourage you to do everything in your power to achieve your goals. Successful people are aware of the power of positivity. They are aware of the way that their minds can influence their actions, and they are aware of techniques that they can use in order to make their own lives better and stay focused on their goals. They will never put down another person for their methods. Instead, they might try and find the ways that they can learn from them and implement them in their own lives. However you decide to handle a situation like this, know that other people's thoughts and feelings are not your responsibility to change or help or encourage. What you need to focus your mind on is your goals. Practicing visualization techniques are an incredible way to get you started on a journey that you might never have seen yourself embarking on, but it is one you are sure to have success with. Overall, utilizing visualization techniques is a way that you can improve your life and become more confident and motivated. You will be able to embrace your own power and utilize the power of your subconscious mind to make decisions that will help you to meet your goals and become the person you have always wanted to be. But this is something that you have to apply yourself. You can do everything that you need to do and you can achieve the goals you set for yourself. Believe that success is at the end of the road for yourself and don't talk yourself out of it. Get rid of the negativity bias and the people in your life who are holding you back. Focus on yourself and prepare your brain with the visuals and the mental encouragement it needs to focus on working through your current problems and creating a space of success in your future endeavors. The power you need to create the life you want is right at your fingertips. Start using visualization techniques today to see for yourself just how powerful you are and to begin to make the changes that you need to make in your life to become the best version of yourself possible. It is up to you to do the work, but then you can sit back and let your own mind do the rest. Don't take our word for it, though. Try these techniques out and find out for yourself just how much power you have over your own destiny.
to deepen your practice even more, please visit meditationlifeskills.com.